welcome to another episode of Brad's Angling Adventures. Um, I'm going to do a series of videos um, purely targeting um, beginners. Um, just to let anyone who's interested in getting into fishing or has just started fishing <coughs> um, or just started buying some fishing gear um, what you need to buy for a basic day out float fishing just to get you started um, in the sport basically so in this first video I'm going to go through stuff that you're going to need to buy to get out and do a day's float fishing um, in next videos I'll be going through sort of what's what parts of the rods are parts of the reels how to set a rod and reel up how to put a float on your line all different things like that so if you're about to start fishing or just bought some fishing gear stay tuned and we'll go through everything you need so one of the first things you need is your rod license and that is one of those the environment and agency rod license okay without one of them you cannot fish in lakes <coughs> and rivers um, you can't do any course fishing without your rod license that one entitles me to use um, two rods you can buy three rod license now for carp fishing because um, a lot of the carp boys have three rods out at a time but for just a normal day's pleasure fishing all you need is a two rod course fishing license um, next thing obviously you're going to need the stuff you need to catch the fish with so you're going to need a fishing rod okay you can buy all types of fishing rods out there there's loads of different types um, they either come in two piece or this one is a three piece rod as you can see one there one there one there three pieces um, this is a 13 foot match rod this is just a, a little um, two piece spinning rod that I've got um, but you can get um, all manner of rods in all different sizes so ask people in the shop what sort of rod would be best for you um, for just going out and doing a day's float fishing people in the shop are not, always more than happy to help you um, don't need to buy the most expensive gear um, the fish don't know the price of the stuff you're using so don't go mad keep it cheap when you're first starting out because you don't know if you're going to like fishing so don't buy the most expensive gear you can this rod was the first rod I bought when I got back into fishing um, and I mean, I'm still using it now I've, I've been fishing again now for probably eight or nine years um, and I'm still using it it's still going strong and it was only a cheap one from um, where was it from? Decathlon. Um, it's a set match three three ninety. Um, it's just a I think it's Capilan who make them. Cheap rod, does the job. Um, so yeah, that's you need. You obviously you need a rod. Um, you need a fishing reel. This is the type of reel you want for a normal day's float fishing. It's a fixed spool reel. Okay. Handle 
folds out. Looks like that. Okay, it's a fixed spool rod. Fixed, fixed spool reel even, not rod. Fixed spool reel. Okay, this one has got a front drag system on it. Okay, turn that, sets the drag on the, on the reel. Go through that another day. This one is a rear drag reel. Okay, where you set it by turning this one. Okay, exactly the same principle, just that the drag's at the back rather than at the front. Exactly the same fixed spool reel. Again, this one was just a, a cheap reel from Decathlon. I bought all my first stuff in Decathlon. Um, and the guys that I spoke to in there were, were pretty good. I mean, it had, since I'd been fishing, um, well, I've been out of fishing for a lot of years before I started up again, and so much had changed. So I went in and asked a few questions, and they were more than happy to help me. Um, as I say, this, this one was quite cheap um, from Decathlon again. I think all the stuff that I bought when I first started out again cost me about a hundred pound um, and that got me out for a, a day's fishing you could probably do it cheaper than that but you know I had some money for my birthday went out and spent it on fishing gear to get back in fishing so all good but anyway waffling now shut up Brad um, what else you need Obviously, you're going to need line on your fishing reel. Any line will do. Any, depending on what type of fish you're going to be doing, um, will depend on what sort of what sort of strength line you want. Personally, I would recommend about six pound, six pound breaking strain fishing line. Okay. Obviously, then you're going to know, need to know how to put that onto the reel. We'll go through that in another video. Um, but you nearly need some fishing line, let's say, around about six pound is ideal because you're going to be able to catch small silver fish on it and if you get into a bonus carp, it's going to be strong enough to, to handle it. I mean, you, you'll quite easily land a, a 20 pound carp on six pound fishing line, um, as long as it's played right. What else are we going to need? We're going to need a selection of floats just sort of waggler floats these are called crystal wagglers okay you can get them with a thick bristle like that and a thin bristle get a selection of both different weights it, it tells you on them what they take these are I mean this one takes five BB shot okay um, and depending on what you get will depend on what what weights they'll take to sit the float properly in the water okay we'll go through that in another video um, later in the series so stay tuned and you're going to find out more okay but you need a you need a, 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 a few few little waggler floats okay um, to attach your float to your fishing line you're going to want things like this these are called float rubbers okay hopefully you can see that you've got a tiny little hole in the bottom for your line to go through okay they're the most common kind of thing that you use when you're first starting out you can get ones with a little eye on the bottom hopefully you can see that there you go you get ones with a little eye on the bottom as well they're pretty good to use or you can buy this type of thing um, hold on stand by stand by stand by
goes. Just having technical difficulties. <laughs> Not like Blue Peter, this is it? Anyway, you can buy these, which as you see, there's a swivel there. These are called uh, snap link swivels. You've got a swivel there, and the other end, you've got that part there, which will attach to your float. As I said, go through that in another video. Um, what else are we going to need? A pair of scissors. Always have a good pair of scissors with you. You're going to need to cut your line at various times. So always have a good pair of scissors with you. Um, you're going to need a selection of shot. Okay. You can buy these. All different companies sell these. Um, these are Dinsmore shot. Um, they've got the most common sizes that you're going to need for just a day's pleasure fishing. You get AAA, BB, number ones, number fours, and number sixes, all in different segments of that pot. Okay? You're going to need a disgorger for taking the hook out of a fish when you catch one. Because you will catch one. Okay, Discorger, helps you get the hook out of the fish. I've got a video on how to use Discorger. I'll put a link up the top there so you can click on that and have a look at that video. Um, until you're confident in tying your own hooks, I would recommend buying what they call hook to nylon. Okay. Now these ones are uh, midi lasso ones, they've got a, a little loop tied underneath the hook and you've got a, a little rubber that you can pull down and tighten down onto your pellet or whatever boat you're using. But these are hooks and nylons, they come in packets like that. Okay, um, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, there's one there. Just a, a little um, selection section of line with a hook already tied on it. You've got a loop in the other end to attach it straight to the main line on your fishing rod. Okay, so you're going to need some hooks to nylon until you're confident in tying your own hooks. I've um, got videos on tying hooks. I'll put the link up. Um, right, what do we want next? Obviously you're going to need bait. Now, I would recommend first going out, get a bait that every single fish is going to eat. Maggots. Um, shops will probably charge around about £3 for a pint of maggots. Okay. But they're one of the most versatile baits you'll ever use. Every every single fish that swims in our rivers and lakes will eat a maggot. Okay, um, so you're going to need something to put those maggots in. Now, these little pots are one pint. Okay, these are by, these are made by Guru. Um, I've got a lid somewhere for it. Uh, obviously they come with a lid and there's holes in the lid for the maggots to breathe. Um, you've got to have a bait box to get your maggots in otherwise shops won't sell them to you. Um, it's all to do with animal cruelty and stuff like that. If you haven't got a box with air holes for the maggots to breathe they will not sell them to you because it's animal cruelty. Um, so there, that's a, that's a point. You've got this type of box, which is also about a point, I think. I think it might be dead on a point, it might be just over. But these are pint boxes as well. Okay, you've got a snap-on lid, same as, same as that one. And it's got air holes in it. Um, you've also got this type of box, which is obviously a lot deeper. Still got the air holes in it, still got snap-on lid. 
okay but this is three point I think it's three point three pints around about that so you know you'll get quite a few maggots in there but you know for for a normal day's pleasure fishing you'll probably get away with a pint of maggots um, so yeah you'll need a maggot box what else really? we need a lot of stuff to go fishing um, outlay can be a bit pricey at first but once you've got all your main kit you can add to it as you go along you know bit by bit um, buying better stuff if you need it um, so we're gonna need something to get the fish out of the water with because you can't just haul them out on the rod so we're gonna need a landing net okay come in all different sizes all different makes all different size mesh get one that suits you it doesn't have to as I say it doesn't have to be expensive get one that suits you you're also going to need a landing net pole to attach that net to okay um, little telescopic okay get them at all different lengths all different makes so get a landing net pole um, also a lot of uh, fisheries you have to have an unhooking mat now these are pretty cheap fold up quite small um, this one is a kudos unhooking mat and as you can see it unfolds to quite a decent size and then folds up nice and small for you to pack it away again in your bag okay we're so gonna need an unlocking mat and mm, what else I think I think that's nearly it apart from something to carry all your kit in which at first I just had one of these um, to carry all my bits and pieces in these are cheap enough again this was bought from decathlon uh, it's made by capillan it's I mean this has got some sea fishing stuff in it now um, but it's just a normal little cantilever box it's got loads of different compartments in it to put all your, all your bits and pieces as I say this has got sea fishing bits in um, but good little box nice and cheap carries all your stuff ideal to be honest um, I have actually got a, a small rucksack as well sometimes if I'm just going fishing you know and I want to travel light I'll just put a few bits and pieces into my rucksack and all I've got to carry is my rod my landing net and everything else is in my rucksack so you haven't got to carry much at all um, but that's basically what you're going to need for a day out fishing so hope that's helped a few beginners out there or anyone that's just started buying a, a, a few bits of fishing gear as I say stay tuned for more videos to come on fishing for beginners um, we'll, we'll be going through loads of different stuff um, to help you out on your way to fishing oh one last thing that I did forget to mention you're gonna need a towel take a towel with you just to wipe your hands on when you've caught your fish and put it back um, but yeah, as I say, stay tuned for more, loads more videos to come. We'll go in depth on what you need to do to set all this gear up and get out and catch some fish. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get loads of people into the sport, okay? Because it's great getting out fishing. 
better than sitting indoors, playing on your Xbox, or just sitting there like that, glued to your phone or your computer. Get outdoors, get some fresh air, um, catch some fish while you're at it. It's great. Um, you'll meet people out there, you'll make friends. Everyone's a winner. So, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit the bell icon and you'll get notifications of when the new videos are going up. Um, I'll put, I'll try and put some links into uh, the description on different piece and, bits and pieces that I've shown you here. And as always, thanks for watching and tight lines. I'll see you in the next video.